Hey everybody, Dr. Lisa Thompson here coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. And welcome to another edition of The Doctor Is In Live. I'm so excited to be here with you on this Thursday afternoon. Up here in Minnesota, we've been having the most spectacular weather I have ever seen uh, for Minnesota. I wish we could just bottle this weather up and have it, you know, through December, January, and February. You can't, you can't beat it. But I'm really excited to be with you here today because last night, hi Julia, glad to have you on the show. I was on one of the most amazing webinar trainings on blogging by my good friend, Norbert Erlowitz. I don't know if any of you attended the webinar last night, but it was over two and a half hours long. And it literally, he gave a clinic when it comes to building blogs and especially creating content that's going to attract people to you. And I've got some notes that I'm going to be reading off of. There was so much value in this that I had, I, I, I took tons of notes. And today we're going to focus on three types of content that will help you sell more stuff and get you more leads, all right, and give you a positive cash flow. And you're also going to want to pay attention to the end of this video because I have something really, really special for you that's coming out tomorrow, and I'm really, really excited by it. So you want to make sure that you're on here at the end because uh, I've, I've been working on this all afternoon. I'm going to be working on it tonight. I'm, I'm super pumped to be sharing it with you. Now make sure you're hitting the upper right-hand corner of your screen, the notification button. This will let Facebook know and well, Facebook will notify you when I am going live. That way you and I can interact in real time. I love doing these Facebook live videos so that we are talking together. I love the real time interaction. So what we're going to be talking about today is content marketing, okay, which is essentially blogging. And these types of strategies can be used in other forms, you know, you can use them on social media. But we're really going to be emphasizing blogging because your blog is your headquarters. I've talked about this all the time. And this is the place where people are going to recognize you as the credible expert. This is where you're going to show yourself off. Now, I'll, you know, we've been spending the last, you know, several live shows really talking about uh, gearing it toward network marketers, how to sell more of your products to build a customer base. This is going to apply to you today as well, but this is also going to be for anybody, whether they're doing affiliate marketing, whether you're a standard brick and mortar business, or you're someone who's doing some direct sales. This type of content is going to make you stand out and it's going to help brand you. And Norbert really gave a great breakdown on these three types of content strategies. So I want you to get out a pad of paper and pen and be prepared to take some notes. Now I'm going to apologize in advance because I am going to be looking down at my notes from time to time. So bear with me. Normally I like to look right at the camera and talk with you guys. But I want to make sure that the information that I'm giving you is accurate. Okay? And we're going to get started right now. So a lot of people say, well, why do we need content marketing? Hi, Ron. Glad to have you on the show today. There's several reasons why you need content marketing, okay? And we and uh, Norbert gave, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven key reasons. Write these reasons down, all right? Number, reason number one. You need to have a content marketing strategy to help build your audience. Your audience needs to know who you are. Second, you need to attract new website visitors. Number three, you need to engage with your audience. Okay, you know, when you're on social media, they're still trying to figure out who you are. But if you can get people to like and comment on your blog posts, that's engagement. So we want them to engage with your content. We want to be able to generate leads from your content, meaning once they're in interacting with you on your blog, you want them to take the next step by getting them on your email list. 
You want to be able to take those leads and convert them into customers. And I'm going to tell you guys, within the last three months, I've generated a positive cash flow of $300 per month from one income stream, from one product I promote on my blog. Okay, And that's because I do a consistent content marketing strategy. You want to be able to upsell to existing customers. So if you've got a loyal customer base of people following you, such as, you know, maybe they bought one product from you if you're in network marketing, or they bought a product from you that you created, you've already built the relationship. They bought from you once, they're going to want to buy from you again. Okay, so you're going to want to be able to create content that will allow them and see the value in what you have that they're going to buy more from you, which is going to increase your profitability without having to have additional ad spend. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? And then the last is you want to convert these existing customers into raving fans and advocates, meaning they love your stuff so much that they're just going to go out there and they're going to do word of mouth. They're going to talk about you on social media. They're going to brag about you. You know, that's the best type of advertising is word of mouth, okay? You know, think about it when you've gone to a restaurant and you went to a restaurant the first time, they served you the best food, you loved the ambiance, you loved the environment, the wait staff, everything, and it was such a great experience. What do you tend to do? You, get to, you go out there and you're going to tell everybody you know how awesome this place is. And guess what? Your friends will go because you're excited about it, and that particular owner of the restaurant, guess what? He doesn't have to spend much on advertising because you're bringing him business. Pretty cool, huh? You can do that with your blog. If you can get people raving about it and they see you as that credible expert, they're going to do all the selling. They're going to bring the people to you, and you don't have to worry about spending so much on advertising. That's what we all want, right? So let's get down to the three key areas of content you should be doing, all right? Norbert put these into like three big tents, if you will. So what you may want to do, with get out a sheet of paper right now and fold your piece of paper into thirds, all right? So in the far left column, you want to write down, this is one type of content, personal connection. In the middle column, you're going to want to write education slash value. And in the far right column, you want to write down promotion. Okay, these are the three different types of content you can do. So let's talk first about the personal connection types of posts. I'm going to give you a list of ideas that Norbert shared. And then what I want to do is, you know, think of some other things that will pop up. All right, under this personal connections. You're going to, I'm going to tell you as I list these different types of ideas, you're going to, your wheels are going to start turning, okay? And when that happens, you're going to have this whole creativity come about and you're going to feel like, wow, you know, you're never going to run out of content to talk about. So let's talk about personal connection. You can do story posts. Okay, stories about leaders, stories about yourself that you know your market will like. Okay, again, this has to be message to market match. So that means you need to know your market, know their problems, know their pain points, and your content now is going to be geared toward those pain points, those problems, and solutions. So story post. You can do a day in the life post, inspirational posts or motivational posts, quotes. These are awesome. You can do a rant post where, you know, if you're in a particular industry and you see something that, you know, you're, that really fires you up, that you're really passionate about, you can go out and, and do a post that will, you know, where you can be like an advocate. Okay, those are very popular. You can do a, a controversial post. These are the types of posts that, you know, you're going to ruffle the feathers a little bit. But when you're doing controversial or rant posts, you don't want to be in the negative where you're slamming somebody. You always want to maintain your power and maintain professional class. 
you know, you can talk about things, but make sure that you're doing it in a way where you're being gracious as well. You don't want to be slamming a particular person or you're really slamming a particular company. I think, you know, that type of thing just doesn't fly. All you have to do is look at what happened in these, it's the selection cycle where everybody was just, it was just nasty, All right? You don't want to do that. You want to be from a place of empowerment. You want to do like a personal soul searching post, excuse me, soul searching post. So this can be types of posts where, you know, you share a struggle that you're going through or how you overcame a struggle, okay? That's huge. Um, I've done several of those, and that really connects with people, all right? Because you're, you're hitting a pain point that they can identify with. Behind the scenes posts. So if you're someone, you know, you're creating like a new product, or you're behind the scenes at like a live event, you know, you can do great little, you know, taking pictures and things like that and kind of talk about the vibe that's going on there. People love those types of posts. You can also do a holiday post. You know, right now we're coming into the holiday season up here. We have Thanksgiving coming up in the United States, and next month it's the, you know, Christmas season. So these are great times, too, to really share some great value, content, personal connection. I mean, people, you know, they're going to do business with those who they know, like, and trust. And these types of personal posts are going to build rapport. And they're very, very powerful. You don't, you know, you want to spend time at least, you know, having one or maybe two posts a week if you're blogging every single day, <coughs> excuse me, on, you know, really working on personal connection. Now let's go to the middle column, and we're talking about informative or education. This is probably where you need to spend the bulk of your time with your blog posts. This is how you're going to demonstrate your authority in becoming an expert in your niche. So here are some examples. How to posts, review posts, product reviews, or um, service reviews, book reviews, case study posts. Okay, where you can go and find somebody you can interview, a leader, or someone you know who has a result, and do a case study around that. Pretty cool. You can do an interview with them. You can also do resources posts. This is really great. I've done this in social media where um, I've done like best resources for automation tools on Twitter. Okay, you can come up with tools, you know, your best list for plugins for your blog. You can talk about, you know, the 10 best places to uh, find healthy food online. I mean, the, the things are endless here, what you can do for resources. You can also do the ultimate guide post. You can do cheat sheets or checklists. You know, you could come up with one, um, like the other day, I could come up with a cheat sheet just on a blog post I did about the how to structure your blog to make sure that it, it naturally uh, puts people to take the decision and make the decision to become a lead or request, or request a product sample, all right? Those are great types of posts. Statistic posts, all right? That can be where you can have an infographic on your blog and sharing some data as to what's important within your niche. Checklists, those are huge. Um, the best of posts, you can do like a series, all right? And you can have a best of where you can list, you know, if you're someone who's an expert, you can take like, um, if you did like a month's worth, let's say, of blogging tips, you could do a blog post and have like your best of, you know, plugins or the best of content resource ideas or the best top leaders in blogging, best of, okay, see, we're kind of pulling things together where they can just be at one blog post and then they can click and find what they need. You can do an interview post, okay, where you're interviewing top leaders or people within your niche. You can also do a crowdsource post roundup FAQs, frequently asked questions. This is awesome. I wound up generating a lot of sales on a product launch when I went out and I did a uh, I was promoting a product for Ray Higdon's wife, Jessica. She had a product launch. And I did a frequently asked questions. 
you know, when I went through her course and I went in and all I did is I found, you know, what would be the, the top questions my market would be wanting to know about. And I put that there and I wound up generating like four sales off of that blog post, you know, so I was making it was a high ticket item and I wound up making a, a, a nice little tidy commission there, which is pretty cool. And let's now go to the far right column where we're talking about promotional style posts. This is very important because we have to do some promotions at times. So you can do things such as, you know, promoting an upcoming webinar. You're promoting a product launch from somebody like a leader if you're an affiliate. You can do announcement posts where you can kind of lead if you have your own launch coming up. For example, if you are putting out like a new ebook or a new brand of giveaway, you want to give people heads up about that. And you can make an announcement post around that. Comparison posts. This is really great. You know, for example, if you are doing blogging and you want to do a comparison between the top three autoresponders out there. So you can be an affiliate for AWeber, GetResponse, and MailChimp, and you can do comparison posts among products, and you can put the affiliate links there, and if people make a decision one way or another, you can still get a commission even if you're not using the product, which is pretty cool. You can also do uh, updates. So if you know that a, uh, a leader is doing another launch, okay, and this is going to be very important. In a few minutes, I'm going to give you a heads up on this. You know, if, some, if a leader is relaunching a product and they're updating information, you can definitely do another product review based on that new updated information. That's pretty exciting. Um, you can do an income slash results post. So if you're someone like, let's say you're selling weight loss in a network marketing company, you might have a blog post where you write a blog post every week detailing your journey with how much weight you've been losing over time using this product, doing the different types of exercises, you know, recipes and things like that. And you can and you can show pictures of yourself, you know, with how your body is changing doing this type of post. So it can be both a promotional and it can also be a personal journey. And people really love that. And then lastly, product tips. OK, if someone has a particular course, you can do a um, you can do a blog post where you're giving them a walkthrough, of how to go through it and how to maximize their results using that course. Do you see all these different types of ideas? The wheel should be spinning in your head. I don't know about you, but this is pretty gosh darn exciting for me. I, I'm, I'm really pumped when, I mean, the juices were totally flowing when I was going through these, uh, these different types of content. Now, did you all get value from this today? If you did, please leave a comment below and share. Now I've got my very special announcement. I'm giving you a heads up. Tomorrow, Ray Higdon is re-releasing his three-minute expert course. Now he's done a little free mini training series. He's had the first two videos out. Tomorrow he's putting out the third and he's going to be reopening his three minute expert. This is, I purchased this course back in May. It was the best blogging course I've ever had. And it was, if it wasn't for him, I'd still be struggling with my blogging. And he gives the best information on how to build a blog from scratch. I mean, you are walking step by step from the way you construct your blog all the way up to the type of content and how you share it. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, and he's putting new information in this. Now, this is going to go live tomorrow. What you want to do, and because if you purchase uh, his course from me, I am an affiliate. I am throwing in some amazing bonuses for you. Okay, these are things that I have been personally working on that have helped me. All right, where I've been able to generate a $300 per month positive cash flow from my blog using race techniques. And I'm going to throw in some bonuses that I know you will love. And I'm going to be detailing them tomorrow on the Facebook Live edition of The Doctor Is In. So you want to make sure 
you get on my email list if you haven't done so already. So what you want to do is if you haven't seen Ray's course yet, I want you, or the trainings, his first two trainings, comment in the link below or in the comment section below and say, Ray's training, okay? And I will send you that link so you can get access to the training and then you will be notified when the training goes live. His brand new course releases live tomorrow. That way you can purchase it and not miss a thing. You also want to make sure, you know, when you sign up, that way you're going to be on my list and I will let you know, okay, when because I'm going to throw in some great bonuses for you as well so that you can really get your blog up and running and really close out 2016 and head into 2017 with some great momentum. So with that said, make sure you comment below, tell me, you want race training, the free training series, I will get that to you. I will send it to you via Facebook message. So leave me a comment below. That is all for today's session. I just got a text here from my husband. It just came across my screen. I have to go pick him up from work. So with that said, have an awesome Thursday, guys, and we'll talk tomorrow.